Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Keonis here. So the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, I mean, it is coming quick. I mean, Samsung's unpacked event is literally about a week and a half away from the time of making this video. January 17th, which is on a Wednesday in San Jose, California, is when the Samsung unpacked event will be held. And that's literally here in my state. So I'm really hoping I'll be able to make it out there. I know I got an invite on my way, but if not, I do have a Samsung Experience store pretty close by. So if I can't make it out to the event, I will make it to the Samsung Experience store. And they actually open at the exact same time that the unpacked event starts, meaning I'll be able to actually play with the devices before the people at the event get to play with the devices. So if I do end up doing that, I may just do a live stream here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed yet and you don't have notifications turned on, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on that live stream and other content I have coming with the new S24 devices. And in case you don't know, and if you have not done so already, you can actually reserve your pre-order. You're not obligated to actually buy the device or anything like that. You're not required to make any purchases. You're simply just signing up to reserve your pre-order. That way, when the time comes to actually be able to pre-order your new S24 device, whether it's the S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra, you'll get an email that reserves your spot for you. So if they do happen to sell out, well, you won't have to miss out because you actually reserved your pre-order. And I have a link down in the description below and in the pinned comment so you can reserve your pre-order and get some extra special goodies using my link below as well. Now I'm sure there are lots of questions asking like, hey, I got an S23 Ultra. Is it gonna be worth it to upgrade to the S24 Ultra? And you know, right off the bat, I'll just tell you, yeah, I actually do think it's worth it. The S24 Ultra actually seems like it's going to be, I mean, that thing is going to be a powerful, powerful device with everything Samsung is throwing into the device. And they are calling this the Galaxy AI device. So it's going to have AI capabilities. And I really don't know exactly what that means, to be honest. I don't know what that is going to make this phone capable of doing, but, I know it's gotta be something good because they're making a pretty big deal about it. And that's one thing that they are really showcasing, you know, going into this unpacked event. So I'm really curious and really excited to see what this Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to be able to do with these new AI uh, system that it's going to have in the device. And of course, it's going to be powered by the new Snapdragon Gen 3. At least that's what the rumors and the leaks say. Of course, you know, nothing is for sure, for sure until we get to the actual event and they finally announce, you know, everything that this phone is going to be capable of, actually all three devices. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And that's not the only thing that's going to be great about this device either. So it looks like the Galaxy S24 Ultra is actually going to be made with a new material being titanium, which is going to make the phone a bit lighter, you know, compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra and maybe a bit durable. And then we're also getting some colors. We got, you know, titanium black, titanium gray, titanium violet, titanium yellow. And then we got exclusive colors like a vibrant orange, a blue color and a green color. And and looking at the leaked photos, I mean, they actually look really, really nice. And just that natural titanium color is actually looking really, really good. And I think I see myself going for that one. Now, all storage options of the Galaxy S24 Ultra are going to come with 12 gigabytes of RAM. But when it comes to the internal storage, we do have a 256 gigabyte model, a 512 gigabyte model, and a one terabyte model. I know, I know it is now something that nobody cares about anymore, but I still wish that they added an SD card slot in their at least ultra device because you know that way it doesn't force us to pay more money and get the larger storage device we can easily add more storage with an sd card so i'm um, fingers crossed i'm hoping one of these years that they do add in an sd card slot i mean just for fun just to bring it back you know or take it back to the old school the way they used to do things now when it comes to battery size it doesn't really look like there's going to be a change in battery size we're still getting a 5000 milliamp battery although it may last longer than the s23 ultra because of the new snapdragon uh chipset that's going to come in the device but I mean, even if it's the same as the S23 Ultra, I really won't have any complaints to be honest, because I mean, this phone lasts me all day, sometimes two days. I never have to worry about the battery dying on me when it comes to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But do keep in mind that it doesn't look like we're gonna get a charging brick in the box again. So if you do see yourself needing to upgrade, you know, to a new charging brick, something that's going to take advantage of the fast charging capabilities of the new Galaxy S24 Ultra, then why not check out a charging brick from our sponsor Sponsors of today's video, Ugreen. So this little guy in my hand right here is the Ugreen Nexode Pro 100 watt fast charger. Yes, this little charging brick right here is a 100 watt fast charger coming with GAN technology. And that's how they were able to get this so small, but they are calling it GAN 
Infinity, which is going to give you a higher efficiency charge, bringing in less heat. And it also does, does have a thermal guard, which is going to give you that temperature control so it doesn't overheat on you. But this actually allows me to charge my Galaxy S23 Ultra at the highest speeds possible. This does support 45 watt super fast charging, and this charger allows me to take advantage of that. But not only that, I'm also able to charge three devices simultaneously. It's got two USB-C inputs and one USB-A input as well. And I can charge up to three devices at the same time, whether it's a laptop, a smartphone, a tablet, all together at the same time. Boom, this little charger right here is taking care of that for me. And this is something that's going to be great for traveling as well because of how small it is. I mean, this isn't gonna get in the way anywhere. You can easily even fit it in your pocket if you really want to do so. The plug-in itself does tuck in nice up to the side of the charging brick, just making storage a lot easier. So this is definitely going to take care of your charging needs, especially for devices that do support fast charging. Heck, you can even charge a 14 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 86% in just one hour. So this is definitely gonna take care of all of your charging needs. And like I said, if you're picking up a Galaxy S24 Ultra and you do find yourself in need of a new charging brick, something that's going to be able to take advantage of the super fast charging capabilities on that new device, make sure to pick up a Nexo Pro 100 watt fast charger from our sponsor of today's video, you green. Now, aside from possibly either having the same kind of battery life as the S23 Ultra or possibly even better battery life, we also got to talk about the display on the S24 Ultra. It is coming with a 6.8 inch flat display. Now, looking at the Galaxy S23 Ultra here, yes, it does look like a flat display, but if you look really closely, there actually is just a slight curve on it while it is rumored or part of the leaks, I guess that the S24 Ultra is going to come with a completely flat display. Me personally, I never really minded the curved edges. To me, it just made it look, I guess, a bit more premium looking. I don't mind the flat edges either. I mean, I, we're just really gonna have to wait and see how that's going to look and feel in the hand as well because it just might make the phone maybe feel a little bit bigger. I know the curved edges kind of helped it fit a little bit better in the hand because it is a big boxy device, but yes, coming with a 6.8 flat dynamic AMOLED display with 2,600 nits of brightness. So it's definitely going to be a super bright display. And you know, the brightness on the Galaxy S23 Ultra was already more than bright enough for me. So, I mean, I'm sure, you know, with this 2,600 nits of brightness on the S24 Ultra, it's just gonna make the viewing experience outside in direct sunlight just a whole lot better. You don't really have to worry about trying to get in the shade or anything like that, or trying to, you know, just trying to get less sunlight on it. I mean, it's gonna be more than bright enough. And then when it comes to the cameras, we're gonna get a 200 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 50 megapixel five times telephoto lens, a 10 megapixel, three times telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel selfie camera. Now, one of the cool things coming to the S24 Ultra is that it's going to have a better night mode. At least that's what the leaks are saying. And we are going to be able to seamlessly zoom through all of the lenses at 4K 60 frames per second. If you remember with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, if you have a previous Samsung device, when recording at 4K 60 frames per second, it doesn't let you go in between each lenses at that. You have to stop recording switch lenses and then start recording again at 4K 60. Well, with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it's going to let you seamlessly do that without stopping uh, your recording session or whatever, whatever it is you're doing at 4K 60 frames per second, you won't have to stop your recording. And then we're also gonna be able to do 4K 120 frames per second. So we're gonna get some high quality slow motion video. You'll be able to record at 4K 120 frames per second and then slow it down to 4K 30 to get that nice slow motion, but still keeping that 4K quality. Because if you remember before, you know, with the slow motion on these devices, it brings the quality down, uh, quality down quite a bit, especially if the lighting isn't too good. But now that we're able to do it at 4K, it's just gonna make slow motion video just so much better and really giving that cinematic look. I know me personally, I'll probably be using it a lot here on the channel, especially uh, since I use my smartphone to pretty much record all of my videos, unless I'm talking about that specific smartphone, then I'll use my Sony camera like I am <laughs> right now. But I mean, overall, it looks like the Galaxy S24 Ultra 
it's going to be a great device. Like I said earlier, I know nothing is for sure, for sure until they for surely finally announce it <laughs> at the Unpacked event, which I am super excited for. If you're excited for it, let me know uh, down in the comments if you are looking forward to that event, if you are going to be watching it, or if you're gonna be watching my live stream here on the channel. Like I said, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out. But let me know what y'all think. Do you think it's gonna be worth it to upgrade from your Galaxy S23 Ultra to the S24 Ultra uh, because of little things that are gonna be better, but also because of that Galaxy AI that's going to be coming with that device. And I'm hoping that, you know, there will be something special with the S Pen as well. When it comes to that Galaxy AI, does that mean more features are coming with the S Pen as well? Who knows? We're gonna have to wait and see when they finally announce it at the event. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections below. Of course, if you do have an S22 uh, Ultra, S21 Ultra, S20, of course, yeah, you're gonna wanna upgrade to the better device. It's finally time to upgrade. But like I said, if you have not reserved your pre-order yet, make sure to click that link down in the description below and the pinned comment to reserve your pre-order so you don't miss out on your brand new S24 uh, device, whether it's the S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.